Hello everybody, this is Rudra Pradhan here. Welcome to Engineering Econometrics and uh, in this lecture we will go for data visualization and uh, in the last couple of lectures we have already discussed uh, something related to uh, Excel use, Excel operations and some of the beauty of uh, the Excel spreadsheet, how to perform all these you know. Uh, uh, you know kind of you know understanding of the data uh, the kind of you know func function use and as per the requirement of data analysis engineering analysis and engineering econometrics analysis but here's uh, uh, in this lecture typically we will go for some kind of you know visualization so that means uh, getting some insights from the data is one part of the game and then uh, uh, understanding the data for the modeling requirement, uh, you need some kind of you know processing and that to uh, uh, for that we need a data visualization. For instance, uh, with the help of a particular you know spreadsheet or you know data for a particular you know decision variable or more more number of decision variables and you, you need to know the relationship among these variables. Uh, one of the particular requirement is the building a functional relationships and what kind of you know functionality you have to build and what kind of you know model you have to choose whether it is a linear one, non-linear one. Again within a kind of you know non-linearity you may have you know inverse functions, you may have you know exponential functions. So, your modeling can be anything. So, uh, until unless you understand the data as per the problem requirement. So, you cannot just pick up a particular model and fit the model and go for the empirical investigation, empirical estimation process. So, that is why uh, to strengthen our you know uh, st uh, requirement to strengthen our structures. So, you should go step by steps understanding the data, data, uh, data structuring, data manipulations, data transformations, data visualizations. So, these are all step by step process before you go for uh, you know using uh, you know hardcore econometric molding and then uh, uh, as per the particular you know engineering requirement. So, let us see how is the data visualization process and what are the ways you can actually understand the data more accurately and you can visualize the data uh, uh, you know more accurately and as per the particular you know requirement. So, for this uh, we need to know the particular you know structure. So, uh, basically data visualization sometimes you know uh, you know in a kind of you know structure where uh, you need to know the uh, shape of the particular you know series or the shape of the particular you know data uh, uh, means the kind of you know variables behavior over the time and over the kind of you know cross sectional unit. So, that means earlier we have discussed that you know data can be reported uh, for a decision variable uh, either in the form of you know uh, cross sectional unit and that to call as you know cross sectional data and it can be reported in the form of you know time series for a kind of you know cross sectional unit then that is called as you know time series data. So, now for a particular uh, uh, you know uh, uh, let us assume that there is an example of you know uh, financial problem or something kind of engineering problems where you know uh, for a particular year uh, what is the behavior of you know companies productions uh, you know with respect to 5 different companies or you know 50 different companies. Uh, so, keeping year constant and then you are plotting companies you know production behaviors uh, you know uh, means a, in a kind of you know competitive environment. So, that means the basic idea here is you know uh, for a particular year uh, how the companies are you know behaving with respect to productions or which company is uh, high production which company is having low production which one is the uh, what should be the average of you know whatever companies are there in this particular you know spreadsheet. So, like that. So, now understanding all these things. So, you need actually a excel use and uh, again uh, you just you know go for plotting then plotting can give some kind of you know insights uh, instead of you know put uh, asking the excel to find out which one is the maximum which one is the minimum what is the average. So, if you plot then by default you can know what is the maximum and what is the minimum and how is the uh, behavior of you know all companies within the maximum and minimum. So, that means it will give you a accurate picture uh, uh, of the data as per the particular you know engineering problems requirement. 
similarly, in the case of you know time series data, so here you keep you know particular cross sectional unit constant. Let us say uh, Tata is a company which is constant and uh, you like to know Tata company's uh, total production over you know uh, last 10 years or you know 30 years. You just plot and then you can uh, you can get to know which particular is the uh, year is the highest production, which particular year is the lowest production, what is the average production over the last 10 years. So, this this gives you know some kind of you know clarity before you go for some kind of you know molding and it itself give you the kind of you know insights that you know whether your data is the uh, that means, data is the kind of you know structure where we need actually some kind of you know analysis and that to expect some kind of you know new insights. What I have mentioned earlier if you all the data are you know same then visualization by default will give you some kind of you know indication that you know uh, for every every units whether it is a time series unit or cross sectional unit it will be a kind of you know straight line only. So, now if there is a, there is you know ups and downs that means, there is a volatile a volatility and variation uh, of the data. So, that is the uh, that is the signal through which you can proceed for the econometry modeling. So, that means, the minimum requirement of econometry modeling is that you know uh, data for a particular decision variable or uh, all the decision variable should have some kind of you know volatility. In technical or in econometric storm, the variation of the variables or variation of the data should not be equal to 0. So, that means, if the standard deviation of a particular you know series is coming 0, so then uh, you may not actually use that use this data for the kind of you know predictions or something like that. And there are many instances uh, you know why the variation of this uh, uh, you know data will be equal to 0. So, one one way just justification is if the uh, against all cross sectional units uh, for a time series and uh, again uh, for a cross sectional uh, for all time series if you find the a, a informations are same by default standard deviation equal to 0. So, in that context that is not useful uh, for the econometric analysis and the kind of you know uh, uh, engineering a requirement. So, you must be very aware about all these things before you go for you know uh, analysis and uh, here in the data visualizations. So, the objective is just to know the structure of the data and it can give you some kind of you know clue about the functionality and uh, what we can do uh, in this particular lecture. So, to know visualization, automation, customizations, integration. So, these are all things can be available and that to basically here visualization process in the help of you know graphs and charts. So, graphs and charts give you some kind of you know uh, better clarity compared to quantitative data, because quantitative data will give you one time results. It cannot give you a to you know z visualization or you know clarity where that is how graphical inspection is somehow mandatory against as per the requirement of the you know advanced data analysis and the kind of you know engineering econometrics requirement. So, now uh, there are many things are there. So, starting with you know charts uh, this is a part of a graph and then data range uh, you know uh, x s uh, x x and y depending upon you know kind of you know plotting. So, we have actually two dimensional kind of you know integration or you know three dimensional integration something like that, but uh, usually what we can do uh, you can go to visualize a particular you know uh, data set for a particular variable and then you can apply for all other variables and simultaneously jointly can you know predict in a three dimensional pictures or something you know more attractive uh, you know uh, charts through which you can be uh, you know visualize the data more accurately, understand the data more accurately as per the engineering econometrics requirement or engineering problems requirement. So, uh, there is upper upper bounds lower bounds that is what we have already discussed in the form of you know quantification by maximum of the series a minimum of the series. So, graph types uh, you know various uh, this is actually snapshot of you know uh, graphical inspections and that to data visualization uh, through some graphs and charts and uh, we it is not a single kind of you know structure like you know when you go for some kind of you know quantifications uh, yeah, suppose you need to know the uh, you know series uh, summary 
you can go for mean, mean statistic of the series, median statistic of the series, then mode statistic of the series, variation, uh, range, maximum, minimum. So, many items are there to quanti uh, to give some kind of you know quantifications about the data for that particular you know variable or the series of variables for a particular you know engineering problem. So, likewise in the data visualization in the graphical part. Okay. So, this is a graphical structure altogether, where you will, you will get you know clear cut visualizations and some kind of you know you can so called as you know it is a kind of you know image through which you can uh, inspect uh, you know in a better way and to uh, uh, you know analyze better way or to give I mean uh, to give some kind of you know, remarks in a better way after seeing uh, you know in details and uh, using a quantifications uh, you know with a single statistic cannot uh, give better insights about the particular you know structure but uh, uh, graphical plotting will give you some kind of you know beaut um, better on that aspect. Even if you know after you know uh, using any kind of you know econometrics uh, modeling, so you have the estimates uh, estimate uh, means you have econometric inputs, econometric output that means technically estimated output and uh, with the help of estimated output. So, you can go for also uh, you know prediction and forecasting and in a, uh, you can uh, have a quantitative informations and you can have also visualization. You can also to the plotting that is you know forecasting plot uh, structure uh, you know it can give you the clue that you know how uh, how the a kind of you know shape of the particular you know uh, distribution or the series uh, you know with a given s samples or given data the actual behavior and the predicted behavior and what should be the behavior you know uh, 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 as per your you know forecasting. So, that means it will give you uh, clarity or you know clear cut pictures as per the particular requirement. We will discuss in details in the later stage uh, how this uh, you know visualization can be possible with respect to actual data and the forecasted data and the kind of you know uh, uh, insights or the kind of you know requirement. Uh, by the way, so these are the various uh, uh, you know charts. Uh, so, this is a col column bar uh, you know uh, line chart. Uh, pie chart, scatter diagrams, area under the curve, surface, radar type of you know curve, diagrams. So, that means, you have a different kind of you know, uh, you know process altogether. So, that means, uh, what I can say that you know uh, visualization is in a, in a kind of you know multiple uh, or you know multi layers. So, we have uh, same data you can visualize in different angles altogether. So, that means, you are you know uh, doing the inspections in different levels altogether. So, then it is one way you can call as you know uh, something called as you know robustness check right. So, uh, if you are plotting with you know let us say line di uh, line uh, graph or something like that in same visualization we do doing through some kind of you know scatter diagram or something like that. Then you will find you know if the observation uh, whatever observation you are finding here the same similar kind of you know, observation you are also finding other graphs, then you know the confidence levels or the kind of you know uh, strength of the particular you know understanding and strength of that particular analysis will be much better actually. So, that is why uh, 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 again my suggestion is that you know do not use a single statistic to analyze certain uh, you know problem and do not go for you know single uh, you know kind of you know instrument through which you do the visualization. So, every times you must have some kind of you know alternative or flexibility to do the continuous visualization by different uh, 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 approaches or you know different kind of you know chart types and then uh, see the uh, uh, accuracy of the particular you know data and the kind of you know, signal of the data before you go for you know hardcore uh, data analysis or some kind of you know econometric molding. So, that means technically it is not so uh, you know uh, easy that you know just you do the kind of you know structure and you know go for the kind of you know, analysis. But it's a, a you know uh, you know it's a it's a kind of you know a very extensive kind of you know uh, uh, spreadsheet. I means uh, the use of you know spreadsheet, and you have a plenty of you know options, and uh, it is up to you how depth or how much understanding you have in this you know uh, uh, you know the in, to know the use of you know spreadsheet or the use of you know Excel. And uh, uh, this itself is you know big softwares and uh, where every kinds of you know 
uh, uh, partitions are there. So, as per your requirement, you can just you know give the command and then look for the kind of you know analysis and the kind of you know, insights as per your you know requirement or you know the objectives of the engineering problem. So now, so there are lots of descriptions are here against column uh, column and bar. So charts and then how, where to use and then again in the line uh, line type uh, you have the description charts are series uh, of values across a set of categories as points connected by a line. So, where to use similarly pie diagrams, scatter diagrams, area diagrams, surface diagrams, radar type of you know diagram. So, the possible areas where you can use, but ultimately you enter the data and uh, then if you go for visualization by default all these you know items will be coming into the pictures like you know bar diagram, column diagrams, lines, pie, pie charts, area diagrams, something co coming into the a picture. So, just to give the command by default you will get some kind of you know visualization and the kind of you know insights. Then your job is you know just do the visualizations with you know multiple charts and multiple you know options. Then you see whether the particular you know observations are very consistent uh, over all the kind of you know visualization process. If it is uh, like that then you can just uh, proceed accordingly as per the a advanced requirement or the particular you know requirement. So, now, uh, so some of the you know uh, uh, snapshot I can highlight here, uh, let us say we start with you know chart types column charts. So, he, see here, uh, so this is a kind of you know year wise informations and uh, usually if you go for you know some kind of you know uh, simple chart uh, kind of you know diagram. So, you will see here let us say this is a kind of you know productions uh, items and that too for a particular you know unit with you know different uh, times. See here the beauty of this particular structure. So, it co it is a consistent with 2008, 2009, 2010, 2011, 2012. So, that means, it is a consistently you know uh, uh, in a reporting in a kind of you know, system. You can know that you know over the uh, years how is the kind of you know movement right. So, you see here this is a production behavior and uh, 2008. So, you will find different colors all together. So, the, uh, 1, 2, three, so that means technically. So, this is a 5 numbers. So, every year. So, we are comparing 5 different organizations uh, profit behavior or production behaviors or some, uh, some kind of you know outcome. Similarly, 2009 how is the kind of you know behavior, 2010 how is the kind of you know behavior, 2011 how is the kind and again 2012 how, how can how is the kind of you know behavior? It's com it is a complete picture altogether. So now let us assume that you know uh, you like to just compare you know so the first ones that means the kind of you know blue blue line only. So you just join the blue lines, then you you ch check the kind of you know trend here. Okay, so this is how the behavior of blue line. Similarly, you like to know what is the behavior of you know a yellow. So this may be uh, the information about a particular you know organization you just connect actually like this you see here. So, these are all actually different uh, behaviors. So, that means, I, I am just comparing actually blue with you know uh, uh, yellow then I find the organize uh, let us say this is a co company B and this is a company A. So, uh, simple uh, you know visualization now or simple insights here uh, over the years uh, uh, you know organization B is much higher than uh, you know A. So, likewise you can you know compare uh, uh, company to company, organization to organization and this is what called as you know time series plotting with different organization. Similarly, uh, you keep you know year constant and then uh, a, a you can actually uh, visualize again company behaviors or else uh, what you can do. So, you put a uh, particular company then year wise variation you can also see. So, uh, many instances or many different ways actually you can do the kind of you know processing and uh, that itself is a beauty of this you know data visualization process. So, ultimately uh, this is a kind of you know uh, process through which you can visualize the data more accurately you see here. Uh, now, in one particular you know uh, means in a kind of you know small umbrella you are visualizing five uh, you know five different companies with you know five different years all together. And uh, now, if you just put the data in Excel and do not go for the visualization, then the accurate, uh, accurate results or accurate kind of you know inference or the kind of you know 
remarks you cannot observe simultaneously. So, the, so, so uh, here you can just imagine the beauty of the data visualization. So, that means in one stroke you can get all kind of you know informations year wise, company wise and something like that and you, know, you know all kinds of you know informations in one basket. Similarly, uh, this is this is a kind of you know uh, line uh, line kind line uh, you know uh, charts. So, like that what I have mentioned that you know you just join the yellow bars um, midpoints of the yellow bars you will get a curve. Similarly, you can join the uh, midpoints of all the you know blue bars or green bars you will find a uh, you know line. So, uh, just you know take this line here so you will find the behavior. So, this is a particular company and uh, here monthly observations are there you see here. So, these are all kind of you know uh, observation yeah, these are all different points of you know times. So, you will find uh, 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 you will find there is a different observations altogether. So, right. So, that means from this you can get to know that you know. Uh, uh, so, these data are not uniform. So, if the data are uniform over the time. So, that means every month over the years uh, it, it is same. So, then this will be only all the data will be like this only. But here what is happening the data is actually moving like this. So, there is a variations actually. So, now uh, econometrics requirement first hand requirement is data should be like this. Okay. So, when your data is having a, you know variations for a decision variable. So, that means there is a, there is something wrong and the idea behind this engineering econometrics is that you know what is wrong about that. So, uh, our observation or uh, our objective is to find out that you know the kind of you know inference or the that kind of you know factors or that kind of you know uh, causality through which you can understand the variations. So, understanding the volatility part is one of the prime uh, objectives of you know engineering econometrics and that is how if the information for a particular variable is uniform. So, we cannot use the engineering econometrics there. So, we will use engineering econometrics where the where there is a variation in the data for a particular you know decision variable and that is the mandatory requirement and the, uh, that is the most for the engineering econometrics and then on the basis of that we like to find out to why this variation is happening. So, there are uh, uh, there are two other side objectives behind this particular you know issue. First issue is uh, we try to uh, you know find out the factors behind this variations or volatility and then how should be the uh, actual behavior or the kind of you know, desired behaviors and how is the you know future kind of you know trend and the kind of you know future requirement. And these are the basic insights or basic observations we have to explore or you have to find out by using engineering econometrics. But you know for a single variable or you know uh, the uh, spreadsheet like this it is very easy that you know uh, uh, by looking this diagram and if you say that you know this is what the objective of engineering econometrics uh, it is like you know it is a very uh, you know nobody can say that this uh, this this area is a very complex or something like that. But to when you will have actually multiple variables and a big da a big data and lots of complexity that time it is not so easy to do the accurate predictions and do the accurate forecasting. Uh, sometimes you know it is a very contradictory kind of you know situation and it is not so easy actually we very plotting one variable and predicting that particular variable for the future requirement may be very easy, very you know uh, uh, you know uh, means a smooth way you can do the particular you know analysis. But if uh, there are if the situation is like that there are so many variables and they they integrate each others may be some will be a, a, a some will pull your uh, you know kind of you know decision variables some try to push your you know decision variables in that case. So, how you have to do the adjustment, how do these kind of optimization and then finally, you will do the prediction as per the particular you know engineering requirement. So, in that context it is not so easy actually. So, you have to be uh, very familiar with the process and understand the particular you know uh, requirement and do the kind of you know analysis. So, that means technically, so this is uh, this is not actually so easy to do the kind of you know uh, understanding. So, you must have a clear cut picture. Similarly, 
this is another kind of you know visualization process the same thing uh, uh, five different companies and uh, then uh, uh, you like to check uh, you know of course this particular check itself will give you some kind of you know, insight which one is high which one is low or something like that so that means uh, we have a two different environment altogether uh, uh, having actually a quantitative statistics and something called as you know let's say qualitative kind of you know statistic this is one way called as you know robustness checks so we have already quantified to finding out which one is the maximum which one is the average uh, what is the average and which one is the minimum something like that again uh, by putting the visualization you can just compare actually this is what the uh, the maximum uh, series uh, uh, for this particular you know problem is so and so organization and minimum is so and so organization now uh, from this plotting that can be also visualized properly so that means one way you are verifying the facts uh, what we have already observed uh, through the kind of you know quantification or by using quantitative statistics again from the graphical modes you are also checking the robustness and verifying the facts so means ultimately it has a multiple options so and multiple kind of you know scenario through which you are doing the visualization and doing the kind of you know understanding as per the particular you know engineering problem requirement and the need of the engineering econometrics now to continue this one so this is another way of you know visualization this is called as you know area wise uh, plotting and uh, same way uh, you will find you know see here so the a kind of you know gray is actually high one and uh, compared to the the brown or something like that so that means the same way you can also visualize here also again so means similar kind of so that means uh, if the visualization is happening here so the similar kind of you know visualization will also can have here so so that means uh, there is a plenty of you know options like you know if you do the quantitative kind of you know means you use the quantity tools to understand the situation uh, one of the one of the technique may be called as you know average you can use mean you can use median you can use more then you check the robustness here also same thing so use different uh, kind of you know visualization tools area diagram pi diagram line diagram and then see uh, how is the kind of you know clustering and how is the kind of you know inference whether they are you know consistent and they are you know uh, maintaining the kind of you know similarity or some kind of you know uh, kind of you know, uh, errors are there so that means it will give you uh, some kind of you know, clarity or you know some kind of you know strength uh, to the process of you know analysis and the kind of you know uh, the a, a process of you know investigation as per the problem requirement or the engineering requirement so now uh, uh, this is again actually kind of you know scattered diagram so this is uh, this is very beautiful in fact so these are all points actually so just you uh, join the point then you can get a line and this is another way of you know doing the visualization so that means technically in the engineering econometrics problem uh, there are lots of you know steps it's a whatever steps we have already highlighted that you know problem identification objective specification uh, uh, hypothesis in you know, our derivations then choose of the models then uh, collection of data data analysis something and uh, then you know data estimations uh, then uh, checking the uh, model uh, means validations then robustness so many things are there in the step by step process but uh, every step itself is again you know uh, very complicated and have lots of you know flexibility for instance we are talking about collection data and data analysis in between uh, you know there are lots of you know steps in last couple of lectures whatever we are discussing that is in between data collection and data analysis only so we have not gone to data analysis which is actually a, a main objectives and main goal of this particular you know subject but uh, before reaching that point still we have lots of things uh, you know we have lots of checks or we are lots of uh, you know work uh, uh, homework we are uh, we are supposed to do before you go for you know hardcore uh, modeling or you know complex modeling to get uh, uh, to expect some kind of you know new insight or something you know new inference as per the a uh, particular objective and the kind of you know engineering requirement so now uh, this is another kind of you know uh, ch checking so earlier it was actually 
kind of you know uh, 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 you know uh, column bar column you know visualization this is actually row wise visualization that means just you know changing the uh, rot you do the rotation in fact you know uh, excel has you know kind of you know uh, kind of you know ad advantage you can just operate the data indifferently so that means you are just you know rotating the kind of you know view uh, different angles altogether clockwise anti clockwise that means it is a comp what we can say means i am using the uh, language color you know you do torturing the data in a different way so then by default you will get some kind of you know insights out of this data and that insight insights will definitely help you to go for you know further analysis to uh, again to get uh, some kind of you know new insights or you know some kind of you know innovative ex insight which uh, is not visualized in the help of you know simple data analysis and the kind of you know simple visualization process but visualization process and simple uh, data analysis can give you some kind of you know be, you know better kind of you know hint and better kind of you know uh, uh, way to go for you know further uh, analysis where uh, you know you need actually some kind of you know uh, new insight and you know uh, new inference so this is another way and this is also another kind of you know surface uh, diagram which is another way of you know visualizing visualizing the things you know so that means so this uh, this particular you know package has a, a different kind of you know uh, you know uh, structure through which you can you know torture the data differently to uh, get insights out of it and to analyze the engineering problem in fact uh, in a real life scenario uh, and the kind of you know academic environment we have different you know visualization softwares for instance uh, origin is a kind of you know software which is very excellent for doing the visualization uh, and that too for the data analysis so that means technically you have lots of you know quantitative uh, you know kind of you know softwares where uh, visualization is not so uh, good but uh, uh, hardcore quantitative analysis is very good and uh, the vice versa is also true some of the cases the graphical visualization is very interesting but you know the in depth quantification is not so good for instance origin is the classic example and there are certain softwares which is very handy for both the aspects and uh, cited example is the use of you know excel spreadsheet and then the matlab itself matlab is a very extensive software and all kinds of you know uh, you know features are there so matlab and excel are very broad and ex extent extensive software where you know all kind of you know graphical visualization and quant quantity uh, quantity models are there with you know different angles like what we have already discussed in the case of you know excel like you know we have engineering modules we have a financial modules we have a statistical module we have a mathematical modules we have a you know text uh, you know modules uh, you know data mining something like that you know so the you know in the matlab is also having you know similar kind of you know uh, all broad features so that means you know uh, these are all you know uh, a very beautiful kind of you know or what you can call as you know quantitative infrastructure or you know sub, uh, softwares through which you can analyze the problems more uh, beautifully or in a more attractive way uh, with the intention of you know or with the interest of uh, or interest of getting some kind of you know new inference or new insights to on, uh, to analyze the engineering problems as per the uh, sectoral requirement or the kind of you know engineering requirement so likewise uh, so there are uh, different kind of you know, this is another way of you know uh, visualization process you see here so how uh, by itself it's uh, saying that you know yes data are you know different and it's not uniform and uh, which one is high which one is low something like that uh, so that means uh, in, in, you know same data you are putting different ways actually you are getting actual, uh, you know different kind of you know views all together so uh, like you know uh, what i mentioned you know look in clockwise anti clockwise a downside upside different angles all together complete pictures what we need actually and one of the fantastic requirement of you know data analysis and that to engineering econometrics modeling is that you know you have to visualize and uh, torture the data first before you go for the advanced modeling until unless you torture the data and do not understand and do not get any kind of you know better inference about the data and you are not in a position to do 
better modeling and uh, you know uh, cannot expect you know better kind of you know inference as per the particular you know uh, requirement. So, that is why uh, you have to torture the data extensively by some kind of you know uh, basic statistics by basic mathematics and the kind of you know data visualization by using different types of you know uh, diagrams, graphs and charts right. So, that means, uh, technically uh, the simple message is that you should be aware about uh, I mean say all these components until unless you or know all these things, you are not in a position uh, to analyze the problems, you know, in depth and cannot expect, you know, uh, you know, good results or, you know, better insights as per the, the objective requirement and the kind of, you know, goals. So, you must have, you know, sufficient knowledge about this. This is again another, you know, different views about this, you know, picturing and uh, this is also different kind of, you know, um, views how to address the particular, you know, and data and uh, then try to explore how is the kind of you know behavior and you know. So, that means, what you know we are doing sim uh, simultaneously the robustness check about the data visualization. Of course, you will do the similar kind of you know robustness check in the molding, but here data uh, from the data itself that is the first and input in fact for the, uh, uh, the analysis of you know uh, engineering problem and the kind of you know econometric model. Uh, modeling. So, here uh, uh, we are doing lots of robustness check before we go for the advanced modeling and these are the process uh, means the first end process and uh, these are the mandatory requirements you are supposed to do because otherwise it is a uh, very you know complicated kind of you know requirement. If your you know result is not coming as per your you know requirement or you are not getting some kind of you know uh, uh, good insights or you know something kind of you know better insights then you know the entire things will be uh, un, uh, you know wastage or the kind of you know not uh, necessarily good actually. So, that is how uh, 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 you must know all these things before you go for you know advanced modeling. So, that means you know uh, the simple message is that you know if, if your input understanding and input process is very excellent, then your output to or you know inference insights will be definitely will be excellent. And uh, whether your inputs entry to the models are you know excellent or not, that is how we are actually doing all these things. Understanding the data, visualizing that data, doing the kind of you know transformation as per the requirement, doing the data structuring as per the requirement. Ultimately, so, these are the various possibilities through which you can expect some kind of you know better results and the kind of you know new insight. Uh, that means, technically when, uh, when we will be acquainted with you know different kind of you know approaches and different kind of you know uh, process, then by default it will give you some kind of you know uh, 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 flexibility uh, uh, against connecting to the robustness check of the molding. For instance, in the first end data. Uh, you can have a, a, a log transport data, you can have a fast difference transport data, you can have exponential transformation, you can standardize the data. In same data, you are putting in a different labels all together and uh, that to you are doing through excel operations or you know uh, uh, from the um, from the excel operation you get to know all these you know uh, possibilities and all these beauties and again having a uh, all these flexibility. So, you can do lots of you know robustness check while you are doing the complex modeling. So, the first end data then you exp check what the empirical results again use the transport data by different ways then you ch check the estimated result. Then you in front of you, you have a very kind of you know comparative analysis like you know here you have actually comparing the data at a different point of time. Now, uh, uh, when you go for you know advanced modeling that time. Uh, you use different inputs by different ways of you know transformations and then what you we are supposed to do during that time. So, you have to compare the results with you know uh, instead of putting time here. So, we will put you know uh, data set once this is how the result, data set 2 this is how the result, data set 3 this is how the results and then you have to pick up which one is the best as per your you know requirement and the kind of you know engineering need. So, uh, knowing all these details uh, you know it is not the bad idea in fact it will give you the good path for your you know model building and uh, uh, you know towards your you know goal to get a new insight and you know better inference uh, as per your you know engineering requirement or the kind of you know engineering need. 
So, ultimately uh, this is a process of you know uh, kind of you know structure through which you can you know do the kind of you know analysis and uh, some of the homework for you for this you know data visualization. So, uh, simple uh, message is that you know understand the data perfectly cross sectional type data time series data till now not the kind of you know pool and panel because visualization whatever we have discussed here with respect to cross sectional data and time series data. And uh, of course, every stage when you are checking cross sectional data time series unit will also there, but uh, when you are taking checking time series data cross sectional unit will be there, but we are not doing a, any kind of you know pulling here, but you are just checking the first hand information such per the particular you know requirement, understand the tables, understand the charts, layouts, all kinds of you know graphs. And uh, you know, be acquainted with the system of you know data. How to understand the data? How to get uh, insights about the data? How to visualize the data? So these are the things you have to do the homework up to till now, and then uh, rest of the things we'll discuss in the next uh, next class. With this, we'll stop here. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.